our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at a Bruno Czech Republic, presenting the challenger, Yuri Denisa Koshasa. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 33 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed light heavyweight champion, Lover Teixeira. for the championship. You can give me your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. striker taking on a true five to a play. When you see a guy hit the striker who knows exactly who he is, he knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Ooh, blocks the shot. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Big punch lands over. Oh! There's no tell on that leg kick. Sounds defense there as he blocks the shot. And oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh. Oh. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, big elbow. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Circling to his right. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Straight right, he misses. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big punch land. Ooh. 
Teixeira gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Whoa! What a round! Right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. advantage as he landed the jab there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Big kick lands. That was landed clean. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Oh! He's hurt, he's hurt bad. That one is going to end the fight. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big punch lands through the middle. Just misses there with the left. Body kick is blocked. Big hook to the chin. Single collar tie now. Huge knee land. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Not there. off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Teixeira. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance positions. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Two rounds in the books. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Third round of this championship fight. 
Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. And they separate. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Look at the whip action. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to take that finish down there. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Strong body work here, staying busy. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life in the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. All right, single collar tie now. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down the head and land these beautiful punches. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there is the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. The celebration continues after the big knockout win to get the job done tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called off this contest at three minutes, 40 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. Well, there are a few things as exciting in this sport as the crowning of a new UFC champion. Congrats to the new light heavyweight king. And at 205 pounds, he joins a pantheon of UFC all times. I mean, he joins a laundry list of great fighters. Randy Couture, Tito Ortiz, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Yes. I mean, so many great fighters have held this title. And now